Good morning, everyone. Uh, let's start, OK? Uh, so uh, welcome to come to this room. And uh, uh, we have this talk about our personal data ownership. Uh, uh, the project name is uh, Our Space. And I'm Wang Jianmin. Uh, you can call me Jimmy. I'm an engineer. Uh, I'm from uh, SCS. Uh, it's a leading research institute in China focused on computer software. Uh, the full name is Institute of Software Chinese Academy Sciences. And maybe uh, we met before at Force Asia. Uh, it's uh, April in Singapore. Uh, a lot of engineers from all the world come to Singapore and have a great summit. And so uh, two months ago, when I received the uh, letter from Linux Foundation, I have a chance to attend the, this summit in Europe. Uh, I'm very excited. It's not only I uh, can attend another uh, big uh, uh, open source summit for engineers. It's also is my first time to Europe, uh, so I'm very happy. And, uh, and also, this is the uh, uh, first time to introduce uh, our space to the world. So let's start. And uh, our space uh, is an open source project focused on protecting personal data ownership. So uh, let's talk about why we want to create uh, our space. Uh, it's uh, about uh, seven years ago, uh, my love and my daughter uh, come to the world. And uh, as a father, it's the first time to be the father, uh, I feel very happy and also feel uh, very worried about her, uh, whether she is feel happy or she have fun at home, especially when I, uh, I'm outside. So as other uh, parents, I install a camera uh, in the baby's room. Uh, so but after two days, uh, a few days, when I watch the camera, I wonder if there anyone could watch me at that time. And, uh, and also as an engineer, we, we actually we know uh, the producer, the company who uh, uh, produced uh, the camera and uh, also uh, connect uh, the camera to the internet. So I can watch my uh, camera, the video from outside, but also the administrator or uh, the platform could uh, watch my uh, video in my room. So when I thought about that, I feel very, uh, I feel uh, less of security and uh, very worried about it. And so after a few days, I just shut, shut down about it. So this is a uh, sample that uh, we, sometimes we want to use our data uh, to, uh, on, on any time or everywhere, but at the same time, we expose our data or privacy to platform. So this is uh, one issue I want to solve. And uh, the second one is uh, about the dependency. It also with the growth of my daughter, our family would like to share uh, my daughter's picture with each other. So uh, normally we use the uh, social network, uh, the social application. Uh, it's easy for our parents, especially the elder parents. But uh, actually I, I know uh, the soft, some, some of the software uh, social platform could also can uh, see this data, uh, this picture. So, uh, but uh, I, it's like uh, I cannot do more because when we leave the platform, when we leave the social uh, application, the history of our communication, the history of we, uh, we share the picture will be lost because it's, it's stored on the platform, not in my space, in my family. Uh, so this is a dependency issue. Uh, one example that could we now leave platform? Uh, now we use, uh, uh, we use a lot of platform, social uh, notes uh, for our contacts and others. Uh, and uh, when we think more, actually we have the third issue is uh, about ownership. In digital world, uh, when your account be terminate or suspended, actually you lose everything. It's like in real, real world, uh, you also lose all your property because your data is your memory in your digital uh, world. Uh, have you watched the, about the movie called Ready uh, Player One? Uh, uh, 
uh, it's a great uh, uh, fiction movie, and I love it. Uh, and also, it's like uh, the future. Uh, our uh, the metaverse could be become that one. But uh, uh, although I love the movie, but I don't like uh, the result. I don't like uh, in our future. Uh, if my daughter uh, use more uh, metaverse, he uh, uh, her her digital account is owned by platform. It's dangerous. It be control everyone's account. It controlled by one platform. It's very dangerous. So uh, this is about uh, ownership. Do we own our data and accounts? So uh, this is the basic uh, some uh, issues we can we could know. But uh, let's go deeper to uh, think about by uh, engineer or technology for privacy. Why we have privacy uh, issues? Because I think it's because our data has value, uh, especially for current uh, internet industry. Uh, advertising, uh, e-commerce, and the AI training, they want to use our data to do more things and to earn more money. And also for users, free is more, actually is more expensive. Uh, actually, we saw that uh, although some internet platform provide free service, but actually we sold our data to them. So, uh, to use basic service. At last, we need to pay more to use our data. And the second one is the dependency. Dependency. Uh, I think it's because of centralized internet platform. Centralization help platform earn more money, and also centralization leads to monopolize. And monopolize can hand, uh, hinder uh, development, such as uh, other industry. But that uh, this problem is more serious is uh, in internet industry compared to other industry, and uh, I don't agree. Uh, it's because uh, World Wide Web. I I I think the World Wide Web is created as decentralization way, just like email, just like uh, HTTP protocol. When uh, they can can uh, communication uh, based on domain. No matter you have, uh, uh, you use uh, mm, the, it's a bigger platform domain, or it's just uh, your personal uh, website. They are equalized in the uh, internet wor world. So I think dependency issue don't don't originate from the uh, World Wide Web, but actually it's because the platform. And uh, another topic is about Web3. Uh, will the current decentralization or Web3 technology solve this issue? I think it's no. Uh, actually, what is based on blockchain is also a platform because everyone is uh, bond, bond to this platform. And uh, so this is about dependency. Uh, and another uh, third one is ownership. I think is the key one. Uh, the key is account. Actually, in digital uh, world, uh, every piece of data, no matter the data is stored in your PC, your personal computer or platform, it belongs to an account. And the account is a digital re representation of an individual. Uh, I think it's a little history. Because uh, when we uh, start to use our personal computer, we use Windows as well a long time before. It's the account is just the local, uh, and it's owned by you. It's owned by the device. But currently, when we use personal computer, uh, a lot of uh, people will uh, bond with the internet account, uh, Microsoft and Google and others. It's actually the account is be convert to internet account. But for local account or device, the scope of this account is limited in this only one device. It cannot be used uh, at other uh, other device or uh, uh, other platform. For internet account is owned by platform owner, but also it could be used in the whole uh, internet uh, uh, world. Uh, the internet account uh, format is just like our email. Uh, we have username and also is owned by the uh, company of the domain.com, uh, uh, so such as a uh, company, and also for social net uh, platform and other internet platform, uh, the account uh, relationship also is like that. The user, although it looks like it's yours, but actually it's owned by the platform. 
And the account system has two responsibilities. It's authentication and authorization. Uh, for internet accounts, actually these two procedures are entirely determined by the platform's internal system, not by yourself. I know this year we have a uh, uh, good uh, uh, technology or we call the project called Passkeys. Uh, have any, anyone use it? I think GitHub and other, uh, other uh, platform already adopt this technology to uh, solve the, uh, the conflict, conflict between password and the 2FA. Uh, because I, 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 actually I, uh, almost all my internet account are open 2FA. But, uh, it's difficult to use. Uh, I, I cannot can persuade my wife to use it. It's too difficult for her. Uh, and also it's too, uh, it's for engineer, it's also not too, not, not enough for convenient. So I think uh, Passkey is good. But actually Passkey didn't solve the ownership. You still don't own the account. It's, the account is still owned by platform. So uh, these three issues, uh, we want to uh, have a solution to solve this, uh, these issues so we could achieve uh, our, our own person uh, could own our data and our account. So how we solved? At first, the way, uh, account is the key. Uh, so we uh, design our space DID, uh, follow the DID uh, um, decentralized identifier which is be publish, published as a W3C recommendation from last year. The ID document defined authentication and authorization in a document. And uh, also the document is combined with the public key and the private key. So only the private key owner of the ID controllers could update the document. So by this uh, design, uh, on the account of the DID document re repre represent uh, is owned by the private key owner. And the, if the private key is stored in your device, so the device owner owns this account and cannot be faked or be uh, forced to change by some platform or third party. And, and for our space, we improve some design. Uh, we in, in all space, public and private key pair, uh, all, uh, all are um, generated on users' own devices and uh, don't, doesn't depend on any third party provider. And third one is all space default. We use multi-based uh, authentication. authentication. And also we add uh, a great, a good, I think it's a good feature. Um, we add uh, documents signature and also document history chain. Because when we have the such chain, it's like blockchain, but it's just for yourself. Uh, I'm sorry about the. I think it's about the uh, power. <laughs> Hopefully, it uh, didn't affect your uh, listening. And uh, let's continue. So, uh, when we have a chain, history chain of our DID document, it could be based on the first we connect the account, we know the account. Uh, it cannot be changed by the others only can be changed by the account's owner to update the public and the private key and the uh, authentication and authorization. So this is, uh, I think, is uh, uh, the key uh, design. And uh, this is an example. It's how we based on the public key, uh, uh, multi-public keys to generate the ID. Uh, this ID is a global ID, and it's also generated uh, from your, on your devices. And uh, the right side is uh, uh, the history chain. Uh, we try to uh, keep based on the uh, first uh, initiate uh, trust to uh, make the account could be uh, advanced and uh, developed. And uh, so why we don't, don't uh, use blockchain technology for DID? Uh, when we uh, mention DID, a lot of people will think it's, it's bonded with blockchain. Actually, it's the same. I think uh, they are very different. The, the, they have the same idea about the public key and public key to keep the account is owned by ourselves. But a project based on blockchain will become another platform. So it will obey, uh, disobey our target or objective. So I didn't use, uh, we didn't use it. And uh, also blockchain technology is suitable for scenario depends on the drift uh, leader. Actually, for personal digital life, when we think about our uh, life in the real world, actually, we 
only need to keep consistence with hundreds of fans, maybe a thousand, it's a limited uh, scope in most cases. So we don't, don't need the, we need to, we don't need the global consistence uh, system for personal data. Uh, so that's why we don't use blockchain technology. And uh, the, uh, about the dependency issues, the core of our space is a server running on your own device or uh, um, many devices, like a data center owned by yourself. And uh, it will be responsible for DID generated and account management and uh, tool responsibility and also storage computing. And also it could be deployed into distributed cluster. And at this design platform will just uh, one of network uh, tunnels of our space, besides with P P2P uh, network or LAN network. A user of space could use uh, multi-platform as network uh, tunnels. Uh, this is the um, uh, draft uh, architecture design. Uh, at the left side uh, is uh, uh, our server, and uh, it uh, composed by uh, many servers uh, container. Uh, yeah, we love cloud native. And uh, also uh, on right side is the user's client. Like uh, when you use mobile phone, when you use desktop, uh, you know how to connect it with uh, communication with the server. And uh, the middle, middle part uh, is the uh, current is three style of network, uh, P2P connection, direct connection, and also uh, transmit uh, connection by internet uh, platform. And also in the future, we will add more uh, type of the uh, connection to uh, reduce the dependency. And uh, uh, this is the question is about uh, does all space depend on ATVS protocol? I don't know. We didn't, uh, uh, <coughs> based on the trust of HTTPS uh, uh, certification. And actually in all space, uh, the authentication is not based on HTTPS, but based on the public key. It is stored. Uh, in the DID documents. And uh, the, about the previous issue, so we implement uh, fully end-to-end -end encryption communication between multi-devices of users. Except users' own devices, uh, any other platform cannot see the content, no matter use which network. Yeah. And uh, so uh, based on uh, the design before uh, the idea, uh, we implement uh, uh, some uh, key technology, uh, decentralized uh, account, lightweight uh, storage system for users' d uh, data, and also full end-to-end -end encrypted, encrypted uh, virtual network channel. And uh, also we are open source, because I think uh, if we want, to, uh, want users to believe a project could protect their personal data, it must be open source. And uh, also we try to integrate it uh, uh, with software and hardware to keep the uh, data center or we call server uh, more security. And uh, so at last, uh, I hope uh, in the future, uh, AO space, uh, our space uh, server could be uh, like our data as a home and uh, it uh, could uh, be connected uh, with our different, uh, uh, our uh, own devices to uh, achieve our uh, different uh, requirement in our digital life. Actually, uh, at this style uh, 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 design, we will get a more interesting uh, situation because when everyone has their own server, actually compare the current uh, uh, people's uh, application uh, we install our application on mobile phone or desktop. Actually, they are all front-end application because the back-end is deployed on platform. So it's split. And uh, when people have their own space server, they have uh, their own space running uh, on any time uh, to run uh, integrated uh, back-end and, uh, back and front-end together. And uh, could this style of application could be developed developed for many purposes? Maybe our calendar, our contacts, our uh, notes, and other we need to use at any where any uh, time. Uh, we don't need uh, any platform to support this requirement. 
And uh, this is, uh, we try to integrate the hardware and software solution together uh, with some uh, hardware uh, security uh, uh, framework. And at last, uh, Allspace uh, is an open source project focused on protecting personal data ownership. And uh, we also support a different architecture. Uh, uh, we are uh, try work hard to on, on support on RISC-5, 6, uh, 4, because it is also open source uh, hardware technology, and it will be better for we own our data. And uh, this project is sponsored by uh, SCS, and the, uh, the developers are also from, the, from this uh, institute. And uh, some of our uh, team are also are uh, maintainers and committers of open Euler community. And uh, our source code is published on GitHub. And uh, I think uh, the, the address of website, uh, address of official website is same as the name. So it's easy to uh, memory, yeah. And uh, at last, I'd like to share uh, another one, uh, one more thing. Uh, uh, from four, uh, three years ago, uh, I uh, and my colleagues initiated a program, a summer program, uh, to sponsor students to do contribution for open source community. And uh, this, this year is four years, uh, uh, four years, and uh, we support 133 communities. And also there are uh, some projects from uh, Linux Foundation, uh, CSF Foundation, uh, joining this program. And uh, this year we so support uh, uh, 500 uh, projects. And uh, if you are uh, in uh, open source project, maybe you could, uh, could uh, know more about the program and uh, welcome to join the program to give more students to have a chance to do contribution. Uh, for your project and the community. And uh, at last, this is my contact uh, uh, information. And uh, the uh, right side is my LinkedIn. Uh, welcome to connect. And uh, if you uh, want to know about more about uh, our space or some uh, OSPP program, uh, also uh, open Euler, Euler uh, you could uh, connect to me and talk with me. Uh, so uh, that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. First of all, uh, welcome to Europe. Uh, thank um, you, thank you. Well, um, yeah, don't feel offended, but, but this is kind of ironic, as, as in Europe we think there is no privacy in China. Does okay. the space uh, uh, want to protect it? Protect it you okay? The, uh, oh, oh, I see, I see. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, I think about the, the question uh, frequently and uh, think about deep about it. Actually, I have two ideas. Uh, one is no matter which uh, country, uh, no matter uh, in China or Europe uh, country, actually there are many laws to protect the personal information and data. Uh, that is a fact, so that's all. Uh, this is the first, uh, uh, first uh, idea. And another one is, uh, not uh, only in uh, China and other countries, and also in, uh, I think, in England. Uh, I think this year, also there are debate about end-to-end -end -to -end encryption, right? To, to, to think uh, which kind of information uh, should be, how to say, should be managed or should be watched by government. I think this is a conflict uh, in the society. Uh, I think it related with the society management, uh, right? So I think we don't have the final answer about it. It uh, need to with the development of uh, society. But uh, from the project, uh, from Jack, I think no matter in which country, we tr first thing is we try to protect uh, our personal data, uh, myself or family's data. That is uh, important, and uh, that is the key. And uh, for uh, other things, I think uh, we should see the development of uh, the future. Yeah, hope it answer answer your question. Yeah, yeah it does. It's a, it's a very good initiative. So uh, uh, yeah, uh, okay. Great. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you. I always like the idea of hosting the service myself because okay. I, I know, but it always happens that one year later I forget. 
where I put that service, what's oh. the password. I, I didn't update it. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm especially worried about for this because it's all my personal data and I might just lose the, the data because okay. I lost the service and all that. So I guess I'm worrying about how do you keep things running and updated as an end user and also what are the failure modes where you would actually lose all your data? What has to happen? Uh, sorry, the second question is about, could you, could you repeat? I'm one. worried about the situation where I put all my personal data there, yeah. something went wrong, I can't get the data anymore. Maybe because um, this, there was, uh, all the data happened to be in a server in my house and the server just died okay. and all that. So how do, you, how do you ensure reliability is your data is never lost? Because if I put it in Google, I know what you're, the problem you're talking about, but okay. I imagine Google is making copies everywhere and there had yeah. to be some incredible disaster before yeah. you yeah. actually would yeah. lose it. So how do, you, yeah. how do you prevent against that? Yeah, I think uh, there are two, uh, I think there, there, there are two aspects that I need to, uh, uh, I think it will be answered. Uh, the first one is um, actually we have friends, I have friends uh, that uh, in uh, Singapore or China, they are used uh, uh, product called NAS, uh, Network Storage Server Service. Actually, uh, many of them forgot about the data because they don't, uh, didn't use it frequently because the uh, feature or the function is not suitable for, for his daily uh, requirement. Uh, so I think uh, when we have more uh, function or when provide uh, actually such as a photo for family, uh, when people uh, really need it, use it frequently, it, it uh, won't happen. You forgot the data. And also, the, uh, this is first. And the second is about, uh, I think, the backup. I think you talk about backup, right? Uh, for cloud, they backup uh, different uh, space, uh, different uh, uh, service. But it costs uh, a lot. So you need to free uh, put your data to the company. But uh, in the all design, uh, we use DID. You have the public key and the private key. Actually, we could include the beta back, backup data. So you could put your uh, backup data to different uh, uh, provider, such as uh, IPFS and also current uh, cur uh, cloud provider. And even more, actually, uh, you could uh, use your friend's storage to backup your data. So based on this design, actually you don't need to worry about your data lost. Yeah. So that, that's uh, I'm, I'm thinking about. But I think this is a, a very uh, important uh, question uh, when we uh, to push the project uh, to uh, go on. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any more questions? Hi. Hi, it's more of a theoretical question, but I really liked your framing of privacy and because I think of when I approach issues of privacy, I think about how the individual feels about okay. their privacy and the kind of expectations and heuristics we use to be nervous about it or, or whatever kind of issues come up. Okay. And I liked the idea that privacy has to do with how valuable our data is. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, I come from more of a healthcare perspective and oh, okay. have done a bit of work on individuals' perspectives around I owning see. and sharing their data. Oh, okay, I see. And uh, I'm wondering what you think about the idea that it might actually be helpful to have an institution steward your data because it is so valuable and yeah. something like this might happen or you might actually want to just have a healthcare institution own your data or steward your data so that more research can happen and how a person owning or stewarding their data might lower the kind of research opportunities if it's all kept in these individual servers. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, it's a, it's a long question. Yeah, uh, could, could you sh sh shout a little? Yeah, and, so uh, just so. the, do you have thoughts on the idea of having an institution actually steward data and um, any issues with an individual owning and stewarding their data and having the ac accessibility of data lowered, which might, sorry, I'm making this question more complicated, I think, but um, uh, what, do you think an individual owning and stewarding their data would decrease? You mean individuals steal another one's data? 
um, like. Uh, sending it out and sharing it, yeah, yeah. Um, would that lower the opportunity for research opportunities? Oh, oh I see, I understand, okay. Um, I think the key is we give choice to people. We cannot decide for people. So whether they share their data to research institutes or uh, other institutes, the choice should be uh, determined by the people. Uh, yeah, I think that that is my idea. Yeah. Uh, so they could choose share, they could choose don't share. Right. So it's not uh, we, we cannot uh, sure, uh, we cannot say that uh, we want to help our research. So everyone need to share their healthcare uh, the health data to to me, right? I, I don't. I think that's not that's not fair. So I think the choice should be determined by people. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 fair yeah, enough. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I come from I think a more paternalistic approach. Okay. In the okay. health space, but I think that's a good. Okay. Okay. Uh, response. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So. Okay. So thank you everyone, and uh, uh, hope we could have more data ownership. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.